This was a workshop about inclusive wearable technology. It was a pretty intensive. It's designed for people who do not have any background in physical computing or programming and how to make that into a wearable piece that is interactive and it has some kind of action. I feel that the current movement with artists is very, very inclusive. Most of the art and design projects I see everywhere is basically designed to be enjoyed by everyone, different abilities, different backgrounds. And I feel like this course kind of covered that as well. We, we talked a lot about sharing and communities and reflecting of each other's needs and expertise. And that is the culture now with programming, open source, sharing, posting your work and having people play with it and helping you debug your own project. Wearable technology, I feel like, is more like an extension of the senses. It's very, very expressive and it's part of us. It's very intimate. It's something you're wearing. It can feel you. It can reflect what you're thinking, how, what your mood is in color or in music. And that is something that you cannot detect from the practice of art and design. And everybody should be thinking about it when they're working. We've been looking at electronics, so how to make a circuit and how to power things and how to use sensors. We've been looking at physical computing, so talking about Arduino and Adafruit boards. And we've also been looking at designing for the human body. I did this course because I wanted to learn how to code, which is really important now, and I want to make what I can only imagine in my head real. All these complicated things that you see online, it can be broken down into like simple circuits that you can make, and it's good to prototype it, and it's just satisfying to see it work before you make it into something bigger. My main takeaway from the course is way more easy than I expected. I didn't expect to learn so much and be so advanced by the end of it. It's just, it's amazing. All this range of workshops that tackle so different uh, fields of work. I mean, you can learn from technology to art to science and it's always going to enhance your practice, so it's amazing. I am surprised of the level of knowledge that I have so far in coming here without no absolute idea of anything, so it's easier than it looks like. Not often do we get to mix with other courses, we're always stuck with people from our own course and studying and like, I always wanted to meet people from other courses and stuff, so it's good because you learn from each other and kind of see what everyone else is good at. It's a good opportunity. You never know what you're going to learn from different people, ages and, and backgrounds. It's just amazing. Things that you think might be common sense, for others it's just like alien language. I think everyone should really dive into it and experiment and it's okay if it doesn't work the first time, the second time, it will work eventually. Actually every time you fail you learn a great deal about why something didn't work which is a very good way of teaching yourself. A lot of it is really available online and I feel like most of the programmers now are self-taught. There's nothing to stop you, just go and look for the information, you will find it, ask for help. Everybody wants to share what they know. I think a lot of people are intimidated by technology until they have a go. I think it's kind of got this idea of it being all about writing out code and, and knowing things and memorizing syntax and having to know everything. But what people don't realize is that today technology is more accessible than ever. And there's so many amazing resources out there that you can use to help you on your journey. It's really honestly a lot easier than you think it is. A whole universe has opened in front of me.